what's up everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm paris and i make videos all about candle making and the starting and managing of my small candle business lady simone candle co today we are talking all about candle wax the pros and the cons there are so many different type of waxes out there and blends um, the most popular of course is the paraffin the soy wax beeswax and a, the coconut wax is becoming quite popular as well but which one is better? Which one should you choose? Which one has a better hot throw? Which one should I choose for my product line? All these questions I asked myself and I also get those same questions from you all. So I thought today would be a good video to record going through the different waxes, talking about the pros and cons to help you make a better choice for your product line. So let's just get started. A couple things before we move on. If you are curious, well, I've been getting a lot of questions and congrats. We did have baby girl two weeks ago today, as of today, two weeks ago. I'm recording this video on February 25th. She was born February 11th. So I am still in postpartum recovery, still a little puffy here. <laughs> um, still can't fit anything. <laughs> so I am real, real casual and chill as I generally am in my videos anyway. Um, but I just wanna say thank you for the congrats and the outpouring of love and blessings to our family and our new baby girl. I really, really appreciate it. Number two, before we move forward, this video, will not be the paraffin versus the natural wax debate, okay? <laughs> um, we are not going to be disrespectful in the comment section. This video is intended to just go through all the different type of waxes, the pros and the cons, so that you may go off on your own, do some further research, testing, and see what wax works best for you. We all have different opinions and experiences, and from my past four year experience and knowledge and research, I am just putting together a list of the different waxes that are very, very popular amongst us candle makers to help you make the decisions for yourself. So we're not gonna do that in the comments, okay? I will be looking for the disrespect and I will delete and or hide and remove you, okay? Love you though. All right, let's get to the video. Number one is paraffin wax, which is the most popular out of all the waxes. Number one, because it's the most inexpensive. So it's widely used across the candle making industry amongst us candle makers. Um, mainly also because it can hold a fragrance punch like no other, okay? <laughs> um, it is made the properties in the wax help hold and make for a better scent throw. So it is the most expensive of the waxes. It holds a better scent throw um, and that's why it's very, very popular. The cons of this wax though, it is a byproduct of the oil industry. So it's not the most eco-friendly of all the waxes, which is why the debate is always so strong about what's natural, what's not, what's toxic, what's not that whole thing i'm not getting into that today <laughs> but paraffin if you are not huge on eat being eco-friendly as as a part of or as an extension of your brand your mission what you represent your carbon footprint you know everything is like go green and natural now so if that is not of a big value to you which is nothing wrong at all um, paraffin is still a good wax you know to make candles it's popular for can uh, um, container candles and pillar candles that whole thing um, if that is not a value to you for your product line and your brand then absolutely go for this wax it packs a big fragrance oil um, fragrance low punch you don't have to worry about the scent throw not being able to carry itself in a room so that is paraffin wax Number two is soy wax. Soy wax is what I started with, specifically the Golden Brands um, 464. That is what I started with, and that's actually what I started my candle business with, my, pro my first product line before transitioning to the Cocoa Soy Blend. But that's neither here or there. Soy wax, it is in that mid-price mid, mid price range 
of all the waxes so it's pretty affordable um it is a little bit more expensive than the paraffin wax though <laughs> um but it is in that mid price range so it's pretty affordable for us candle makers um it is a byproduct of the soybean industry so it is considered more more of the natural eco-friendly friendlier of the of the waxes um which is why a lot of people gravitate to it because everything and everybody is natural and whole foods and eco-friendly nowadays so to have that as an extension of your brand mission and what you represent in terms of your footprint is always a plus because a lot of customers look for what's in their products the ingredients that whole thing the cons of soy wax though and i'm sure many of you are experiencing this sinkholes it it can shrink on you um and then it does not hold fragrance load or you know the scent throw as well um i get this question all the time how can i make my candles smell stronger and one thing i tell beginner candle makers is get the bath and body works out your brain <laughs> when you're using soy wax it's not you're not going to get that bath and body works yankee candle type throw you're just not because and due to the property of that of the wax and it being more eco-friendly it is not designed nor can it hold fragrance loads um more than 10 to 12 percent it just depends and even 12 percent is really really pushing it it just depends on the wax and where you buy your brand from um however compared to the paraffin wax i will say it does the um a positive is that it does not have um as much soot and after burning um typically depending on the type of wicks that you pair with it um it actually burns a lot cleaner as well number three beeswax an old timer an og of the waxes as i call it as it is um, actually the wax that's been used for centuries during the candle making process. It's very popular for um, pillar candles as it has more of a harder um, consistency when it cures. It also has kind of a sweeter aroma in terms of the natural scent it gives off um, because it is derived from the honey during the honey from bees during the honey making process actually. So that's where beeswax comes from. And again, it's, it is popular for container candles, but mainly it was used for pillar candles back in the day day. Um, so it is another popular wax because it's another alternative eco friendlier of all the waxes number four coconut wax it is derived from you got it coconuts of course and although it's been around for quite some time it's still considered like a newcomer out of all the waxes and it's very very popular now especially when it comes to um, a lot of the natural blends so for example the coconut soy blend which is um a blend of coconut wax and soy wax and um a, a more expensive than just regular soy wax or regular coconut wax and then you can get even more in the high end the luxe end like the cocoa apricot blend which is another beautiful creamy wax as well one of the main reasons why it's popular is because out of the natural waxes it holds the scent throw a lot better stronger and it definitely commands a room <laughs> so if you are trying to stay more eco-friendly with your product line and brand mission but you're trying to figure out what wax is good for packing a stronger scent throw compared to that of a soy wax i would definitely go with the coconut wax or a coconut blend um wax for sure Number five, the last wax that I want to touch on that is another alternative to soy wax. So if you are trying to stay eco-friendly, but you want something that packs a stronger punch, wrap seed wax is actually another alternative route that you can go. Out of all the waxes, this is not a wax that I have actually tested and tried. So this is one that actually just popped up on my radar and I'm like, wow, I have actually, I've heard of it, but I haven't 
like researched it enough to really learn more about it but it's actually considered another alternative for soy wax it has a longer burn and it does um, have a longer retention for fragrance load so if you are looking to test some alternatives definitely check out rapseed wax um, it's actually a wax that i want to just test and try just to see how it compares to soy wax this is another way to learn guys and get your um knowledge um get your knowledge up when it comes to candle business and candle making and learning about different waxes and different textures and how it burns and how it holds fragrance load um the best way to learn is to buy and test yourself but definitely look into that wax as well so which wax burns the longest so if this is very very important to you i soy wax has been the number one wax in terms of what burns long and slow and gives you a cleaner burn so i would say though over the years at least over the past four or so years that i have been testing and playing around with different waxes waxes have improved um the way it's being manufactured and um, packaged has greatly improved um to improve the candle making process as well whether it's you know being mass produced or being produced in your home so there's really no cut and dry answer to that and i know beginners and you candle makers out there hate when we say that but it's the truth sometimes you just have to buy and test yourself and plus we all know there's a lot dependent on what makes a quality candle burn and last for a long time it's about the care that you put into it right the type of wicks that you pair with it um it's very temperamental to temperature in the room, the room size, the draftiness in the room, how strong the fragrance oil is. I know a lot of times we smell fragrance oils in the bottle and you're like, oh, this smells great. It's strong. It's bomb. And then about time you put it in a wax, um, it diminishes its scent throw a little bit. And that's because of, you know, maybe the temperature in which you're adding your wax um, can sometimes you know diminish that strong hot throw and then if you're already working with a lighter scent like the florals or the citrusy scents those naturally um diminish in scent throw altogether so a lot is dependent and affects the way a candle burns and how long it burns at the end of the day one thing that i do recommend especially when you are selling candles for real for real <laughs> you're actually in business um test and burn your and, and determine your burn time so that way you are putting accurate information not only on your website um, but you're also forwarding that information accurately to your customers it is very important that you just don't make up information and make up numbers there's no way a four ounce candle is going to burn 60 hours like don't do that <laughs> make sure you test your formula and you're actually recording um your burn times so you asked what type of candle wax should i choose there's several there's like a lot and i don't know which direction to go <laughs> well i will say it really is personal preference i always 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 encourage buying kits that includes the type of wax you want to try and or test and then if you cannot find kits to buy a small quantity like maybe a one pound or even a five pound of the wax that you want to test make sure you are um, asking for recommendations and or suggestions from the candle supplier of what type of wick should go with this wax depending on the type of jar that you use all of that makes a difference in the experience you will have with your candle um again there's really no one right answer all the waxes have its draws and drawbacks so it's really just a matter of what do you like what scent strength do you like how do you like it to burn what type of experience are you getting from your candle that way you're passing that on to your end customer so test 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 candle making and the candle business game it's a never ending of testing. Even when I am releasing new fragrances in my product line, 
I yet test with the wax that I currently use to make sure that everything is still burning to the quality that I need it to for my customers. So keep that in mind when you are out wax shopping, <laughs> trying to determine what you like and what's, what's your vibe. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please check out the description box, everything that you need to know. Um, to stay in the loop with Lady C and Lady C's Digital Studio and what's new, what's being released. It's all in the description box um, in the link down there. Check out Taylor Brands if you are looking for a way to build your brand all in one place. You can check out my coupon code below, Lady Simone 40 Maryland Wax Club homegirl is doing the daggone thing so if you're looking to save some money on your purchase check out my coupon code down there as well lady c5 and then also inventora i cannot stress this enough make sure you are tracking and managing your inventory it is a new year so get started off right <laughs> we're not going to have no end of the year drama <laughs> thanks again for your support and until next time